Spanish and the English don't necessarily see eye to eye on a lot of things. But apparently these two rough customers are going to put those differences aside. And uh, that doesn't bode well for whoever faces them. It does not because as we know both of these competitors are angry and they're angry all the time. Taking a look at Timothy Thatcher, it's pretty obvious that he is from England looking at his bad dental work. <laughs> oh, Thatcher, look at that drawing, the line in the sand. Some history between these two. You know, in the past, both, oh, look at that, quickly tags out one snowball to Terex. One body shot from Terex, he would be second guessing his aggression right away. You know, in the past, we've seen both Terex and Thatcher go through multiple opponents at one time. Thatcher did just that, asked for another, and out came Terex, and he decided that discretion was the better part of Valor there. Absolutely, he got out of Dodge very quickly the moment he saw that big Buddha on Terex's belly. And who's going to get the edge in power between these two behemoths? This is going to go. Well, judging by Mikey O'Shea's disgust right now, it looks like Terex is definitely sweating more right now. Terex now full head of steam. Big freight train and knocks the Irishman back, but only for a couple steps. <laughs> Look at these two big right men trading. And as we've seen in the past, Johnny, Terex is deceptive. Look at the whole ring just shifted. I'm wondering if this ring is going to withstand this match. It's going to be pushed to the limit. This ring could be destroyed before Timothy Thatcher even gets in. Oh, in Disco Machine. Yeah, it's definitely going to bend, if not outright break. But look at this. We talked about Belly Dancer. And now some good continuity double teaming by Terex and Disco Machine. Tim Burr. Whoa, worthy of the disco ball that Machine brings to the ring every time. Well, they're shining bright so far. And now Disco Machine, though. Probably doesn't want to get too close. Oh, that is. Maybe he does. I'm sure Mikey O'Shea would not like to see that. Oh, good thing he didn't, because Disco was behind him. But there's the power game. Disco is going to have to create distance. He can't sit there and try and trade with a much larger, much stronger O'Shea. Absolutely. Mikey O'Shea doesn't have the quickness, but with the kind of power he has, all it takes is one move, and all of a sudden, everything is in his, uh, his advantage. Thatcher's so cool, so calculated, like he's got ice water running through his veins. Well, that is apparently until Terex gets in the mix. Absolutely. Timothy Thatcher is afraid of no man except possibly that one staring at him from the other side of the ring right now. Trying to grab a hold of Disco Machine. Look at this straight jacket like maneuver here. Bow and arrow now applied. And Disco still attempting to dance, but Thatcher really doing a break dance because he has broken him down to the mat. Disco is just well, unbelievable. We, well, we know enough about Disco Machine. Not only does he like to have a great time, but don't question the guy's heart. He manages to come back in every single situation, win or lose. Certainly does. Always has a ton of fight, but again, so technically sound. Look at that. Ties up, great finds the leg, and makes the nice fluid tag to O'Shea. And are you surprised at how well O'Shea and Thatcher are working together? These two seem like they would really be loners. Absolutely. I don't think I've ever seen any one of them want to be in a tag match before. And I'm pretty sure Disco Machine's going to have an imprint of O'Shea's boot on his chest for at least two months to come. Terex wants in. Right now, Rick Knox not letting him in. O'Shea, in the past, we've seen that huge swinging slam, that blackout slam that he likes to use, and he could certainly unleash that on Disco Machine. Don't know if he could get Terex up in it, so do you think that maybe O'Shea... Oh! How about that? Incredibly athletic move from Mikey O'Shea. Very surprised. Call that a rolling blackout. 
into the cover now. Hard to kick out when you got that body weight on top of you. Do you think that perhaps O'Shea and Thatcher are gonna try and isolate Disco, uh, a man that they can throw around, maybe see him as the weak link of the team? Oh, it's obvious right now he is the weak link of the team, and all Disco Machine can do is try to get the power of the Disco ball on his side, because right now he is looking in dire straits. Well, Disco, as you talked about, has got a lot of heart. He's got a lot of stamina in there as well, not carrying away around as much body weight as his partner and the opposition, but look at this, just hanging him out to dry. Well, he absolutely has tons and tons of energy. He has a lot of stamina. He's been disco dancing consistently as a professional for the past 20 years, and he throws off these moves of the ring and the pin. Well, he was doing the horizontal mambo right there, but right back into a bad place, and just a roughneck Thatcher catches him with a headbutt. That, that cost him as well, though, too, shaking off the cobwebs. Well, I think right now Disco will do anything and everything to distract the team of O'Shea and Thatcher. If that means doing a horizontal mambo, as you called it, then I think he'll do it. Look at Thatcher just taunting him, taunting Terex. That distracts the referee, and now is that going to allow Thatcher to maybe make another tag? Yep, he's got him right back in the corner. Good continuity again. And you can see Terex just chomping at the bit, and with a man like Terex and his size, that is a huge chomp. Yeah. The old phrase of biting off more than you can chew. I don't know if that's possible for Terex. Into the cover now, comes in for the save, but... O'Shea and Thatcher have done a great job of isolating Disco Machine like we talked about. Terex has been more or less a non-factor in this tag team matchup. I'll be honest, I am shocked at the teamwork of Thatcher and O'Shea. It's almost like they've struck up a friendship in some regards because they are working together incredibly well. Well, while I'm naming tag teams, perhaps they could be known as Bangers and Mash. Bangers and Mash is a fantastic name. Not quite as good as Belly Dancer, but I guess it all depends on uh, what's the better marketing tool. Tag is made though, and Terex is fresh. Big ham hock right hands to O'Shea. He's got him he got oh! What a display of power there, Johnny. If the ring can withstand that, I think we're gonna be okay. And now, tag to the quicker Disco Machine, who is oh! lost. Into the cover, but here comes Thatcher for the save. Wow, what an exciting double team move that was. That could have put him away, but Thatcher with the last second save. Oh, and look at this. We have a standoff. Disco Machine, Mikey O'Shea down and out, and Thatcher out of the ring. He's, he's taking off. Terex really giving Thatcher a case of the willies, and that leaves us with two men left, and call them the legal men in this tag team match. Disco Machine gonna try and go for the win here. We have power versus quickness. Real contrast in styles. Only two are left. Both men have to try and get the win for their respective team. From the second rope. Oh, look out. Oh! Tornado DDT spiked him. Could this be a huge upset? Foot on the rope. Veteran-like move there by O'Shea. What an incredible move. I don't know how Disco Machine pulled that off, Todd. Off the rope into the Tornado DDT. Now Spike, the big man. But O'Shea seems to still have his back oh! these huge spike. He got him. And he that got him. is it. Like I said earlier, Todd, doesn't matter how much quickness you have. When you have the power of Mikey O'Shea, that's all it takes is one move. Here are your winners, the team of Timothy Detcher and Mikey O'Shea. Fittingly enough, the big bad Irishman picked him up like a sack of potatoes and dropped him in the center of the ring. O'Shea picks up the team, the win for his team. But again, this ongoing struggle between Terex and Thatcher. Yeah. Terex really has Thatcher on his heel. And I'll tell you, lately, Mikey O'Shea doesn't even need the luck of the Irish. He has been on a bit of a roll.